Welcome to our continuing series of business video basics. Today we're going to make a custom title for Final Cut Pro by using Apple Motion. The default is a motion project. We're going to change that to a Final Cut title. So we can change that in Final Cut. We're going to use the standard HD 720 settings and a 10 second duration should be fine for what we're doing. So let's open it. And here we are in Apple Motion. I'm going to change the zoom so that we can see what we're doing. This is a title background drop zone there in case you want to put a background image in later. And here's where our title goes. I'm going to let the end user change the title text and change the font and so forth as they need to. In order to make our work here easier, I am going to go in to the inspector and I'm going to set a title here that goes with the footage we'll be using in our demo. The Great Train Show. That way we'll get the approximate length of our title so we can see the effects. And I'm going to make the font a little larger as well. And let's go ahead and publish these parameters so they can be changed in Final Cut. So the font and the font style and size uh, parameters will be published. We have a title now, The Great Train Show. Now how do we make it interesting? I think we should have it fly in, but not just straight in from the side. I'd like it to follow a curve. Now, I don't want to create a bunch of keyframes and animate the position over time. So I'm going to use a built-in behavior. In this case, a basic motion. I'm going to choose Motion Path. I'll drop that right on my text object. Let's go to the inspector. You can see the settings here, the path shape and type, but let's change the speed first. I'm going to set that to decelerate so it comes in faster and then slows down as it lands. You'll see why as we develop the project further. Let me zoom out so we can see outside the video frame. And that makes it easier to move the text object off the screen to start. I'll make sure it's well off the screen. And then I'm going to make sure it lands right in the middle of the screen. And we'll use that yellow guide to make sure. This title is for a YouTube video, so we're not going to be as concerned with whether it's inside the broadcast safe title zones. If you were doing this for TV or DVD, you'd want to turn those guides on and double check I'll add a second, or actually a third point, on our motion path so I can drag it up and make a curve. And I can use the Bezier tool to shape the curve further. I think that's about how I'd like it to look. Now, before we go ahead and test this out, notice the motion path is the whole length of the project. Ten seconds is a long time for a title to fly in, so I'm going to shorten that up to about 120 frames, or two seconds or so. That should make a better speed for our title to fly in. Now let's go ahead and play it. And it's flying in, it's following our curve, and it slows down and lands nicely. Just what we were looking for. It's a train show that's in the autumn, so I thought we'd make this more interesting by adding one more thing. I'm going to go back to my library, go into the particle emitters, choose nature, and I'm going to choose the fall leaves. I'm going to go ahead and drop that into my project, and I'd like the leaves to come in with the title. So I'm going to put the emitter in between my title and my background. So I've dropped it in between the two. I'm going to go to the inspector. When the title flies in, you may have noticed that it takes a moment to get started and then shows up on screen. So I want to make sure the leaves don't come in too much ahead of that. So we're going to go to about where the title starts showing up, and that's when we want the leaves to show up. So let's shift it on the timeline to come in then. We have to make a few other changes for this to work right. So let's zoom in a little bit so we can see the picture better here. My fall leaves are selected. You notice that the shape is a point, meaning that they start from one place on the screen. And I'd like the origin of that to be approximately where the text comes onto the screen. So let's move it up there. That's about where we think that'll be. Okay. 
Now, as our title comes in, our leaves come in. You notice they're going up and off the screen, though, at first. And so that's really not what we wanted. I'm going to adjust the emission angle so they come in at about the same angle as the title. That's about right, but I want to narrow it up as well with the emission range so that it really gets pushed in by the title. We'll adjust that a little further to get it even tighter. And about there is, I think, what we're looking for. Now, I think there's probably too many leaves there, so let's reduce that so it looks a little more natural. And we're going to slow it down. Now, when you make the changes in these parameters, the sliders only go so far, in this case to 1,000. But if I click on the number, I can type a bigger number, and I'm going to set this one to 1,500. And I'm going to change the speed randomness as well. Uh, I think maybe a little more than that. Let's try 1,000 there. Actually, let's try 1,500 just to spread them out a little bit. So it covers about the first half of the screen, which is about where our title travels through. I'm going to reduce the leaves even a little bit further because I think there's still too many. Let's play it and see what happens. Remember, the playback here is not at real time. So about the time the title hits the screen, our leaves come in. It looks like they're being pushed in by the title. And then they fall down through. The title slows and lands where we want it. And then the leaves finish falling off the screen. That looks about right. So I think we're done. I think that'll work pretty well for what we're trying to do here. So in order to use it in Final Cut, we need to save it as a template. So we're going to give it a name, Falling Leaves Title. And we'll save that in our custom category. No theme. And let's publish it. That should make it available to us over in Final Cut. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are in Final Cut Pro. We're going to take our piece of footage here that has some train footage in it going with the theme of the train show, and then we'll put our title over it. It's in our custom category. Drag it over, put it on top, and if we select it, we can go up to our inspector, and let's choose a better font, because that color white's not really going to show up. And I've saved this misadventure title font earlier that I think will show up nicely here. It's pretty bright, uh, noticeable. And it's got a little drop shadow to set it off. One other thing we'd like to do is I'm going to just select the very end, and this is not a title-specific thing, but I want to go ahead and press Command-T so that it fades out at the end. Now, let's go ahead and play it. And this won't quite be at full speed here, but there we go. Flies in, leaves go through, here comes the train. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and let that render for a minute. Okay. Well, that should be fully rendered now, so let's play it. And there we go. Our title flies in. Here comes our leaves. They fade off, and the train enters. Nice opening for our video promotion for this train show. So what just happened? We created a new template in Motion for Final Cut Pro Title. We added a motion path behavior to the text. We set where we wanted that to come in and where we wanted it to land. Added a point in the middle of the path that we could use to shape it. And then we pulled that point to create a curve. Then we added our falling leaves as a particle emitter, setting where it started and how it flowed, adjusted its speed and matched its entry timing to our text motion, and we saved the whole thing as a Final Cut Pro template. So what are you going to do? Try your own. Experiment with different behaviors. And remember, when you add decorations like our falling leaves, do it for a purpose, not just as eye candy. Finally, there will be more videos like these to help you learn how to do transitions, credits, effects, as well as content-oriented tips on how to make videos for social proof, training videos, and other uses. So sign up for our newsletter at the website, slewis.org, or subscribe to our Lewis Studios YouTube channel below. Thanks for watching this video. We'll bring you more business video basics soon.